Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and finally Mars has turned direct after two months of being in retrogression and now from tomorrow I guess it's going to be direct and it is going to be stationary tomorrow and it is also stationary today and then within one or two days it is going to start moving again all right so this video will be on a, a short description of how to see this direct motion of mars after its retrogression in the sign of capricorn all right which is its supposed sign of exaltation so if you're new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation regarding your marriage or your affair or your career or regarding the direct motion of mars then please go to my website and you can book a reading there you will find the link to my website in the description section of this video below okay and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so now what's happening is mars had entered the sign of capricorn which is the sign of exaltation now what is mars mars is our ability to cross over difficulties mars is the masculine power inside us inside men inside women inside a five-year-old boy inside a 60 year old woman inside everybody that voice which says you can still try that is mars <laughs> and when mars is not well placed in our chart we have difficulties in answering that question and when mars is very well placed then we have the power strength and determination to cross over challenges and difficulties and for mars the best sign to do that is capricorn because inherently capricorn involves dealing with struggle so when mars enters capricorn it feels very happy to do the struggle see there's always struggle in life but the question is are you happy struggling or are you miserable <laughs> so just because mars is exalted some people think that there will not be struggles in life no it's not like that but capricorn is the best place to struggle because that shows our duty commitment structure hard work dealing with authority figures so that's the area where we should be working hard okay so whichever house capricorn is in your chart that house will demand a lot of discipline and restriction because it's the own sign of saturn and Cap saturn as we all know he puts limitations in our life so that we can stay grounded if a person says that i will become a engineer and a doctor and a scientist then when saturn becomes activated in his chart by any means by dasha or by sade sati or by any other na nadi techniques then the person realizes i cannot be a doctor and a cook and a engineer simultaneously i have to choose one profession and then so many other areas also if saturn rules the seventh house then you can see things related to your marriage or regarding your wedding or your marriage partner so and so we all know about that right so now four months back mars had entered in transit the sign of capricorn where it was exalted it is still exalted in fact so what happened was mars was going 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 and then nearby two months ago june end june 26 27th it's stationed and it went retrograde so now it has again entered uttarashada nakshatra long back and now it is going to be direct from there so when mars enters capricorn what happens and mars generally stays in one sign for one and a half to two months nearby that time <coughs> of course if it's retrograde it will be long time of course <coughs> but in general it's 45 days to one month near about 50 days something like that so when mars enters capricorn what happens for those 45 to two days to two months everybody depending on whichever houses mars is ruling in your chart if you are a aries lagna then or a scorpio lagna then mars is ruling your ascendant that means your entire intellectual disposition the way you are using your intelligence you will feel that i am able to do things which i want you will be happy doing the struggle as I said earlier, struggle is always there. But when Mars enters Capricorn, he feel likes he feels like that I should continue my struggle. Okay, so 
when mars had entered capricorn in april i guess yes april may june yeah april 27 roughly 25th around that time then whichever houses mars was ruling in our chart we felt very 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 confident regarding those houses because whenever the lord of a house in transit goes into exaltation till the time it is exalted we feel fantastic fantastic not in a way that we become a millionaire but we feel very happy to work for that house okay and we feel that whatever difficulties come in our path or whatever challenges come in our path during this during this time we will happily cross over it even if there are hundreds and thousands of difficulties because of that when mars was transiting uh, capricorn in direct motion from april end to june end we started doing things diligently regarding those houses which mars is ruling in our chart Yes, suppose Mars rules your tenth house. Then things related to career, you are very positive, because when a planet is direct, it only sees ahead. So you will not see what you left back, what what was behind. You will only see what is in front of me. All right, because now you will. Uh, that time you felt as if now I can do anything, whatever I want. But then what happened is in. June end 27 June exactly 2 months back Mars stationed and it went retrograde so what happens when a planet goes retrograde when a planet goes retrograde it why does a planet go retrograde we have to ask this question and this will happen for everybody because transits are general for everybody so when mars uh, went retrograde why why it went retrograde because we might have we might have realized that when we were moving in the sign of exaltation which is we were in direct motion looking ahead then there is something in the background which we did not complete and in these two months we completed that task so whichever house capricorn is falling in your chart you will see that that house had a lot of backlog and a home and some homework to be done irrespective of the lordship of mars now i am talking of this sign capricorn so wherever capricorn is placed you would have seen that that house suppose it is in your third house it can do with things related to your younger brother or something to do with writing or short distance travel suppose you made a big trip when mars was direct but then when mars went retrograde maybe you were thinking should i take this big trip or do i have the finances okay it can be anything if mars is ruling your seventh house then it can be things related to marriage Uh, sorry if capricorn is in your seventh house then it can be things related to marriage so then what happens is there's there, there was a lot of homework which was to be done in the sign of capricorn okay and the lordship of mars will tell you what is ultimately the agenda of mars okay so for example if you are a capricorn ascendant itself then for capricorn mars rules which houses mars rules the fourth house and the eleventh house yes Aries is in fourth house and Scorpio is in the eleventh house. So for Capricorn Lagna people, the agenda of Mars is to deal with education, home, property, land, real estate, all these things, and your mother, and primary education, and your sense of happiness, your sense of identity, which is the fourth house. Who am I? That that is also seen from the fourth house, and the eleventh house uh, is the house of contacts, negotiations, other people, deals, gains, money, all these things. So. the agenda of mars is to give those things okay and now capricorn is your first house because you are a capricorn ascendant so these things are driving your entire life because they are because th this planet is sitting directly on in your head your ascendant is your head so all the time you are thinking of either education or money or these these things but because this is in the ascendant this will drive your whole life you cannot specifically say that oh it is driving this area or that area that will depend on the dasha and so many other factors but there you would have realized after june 27th or nearby june end that your fourth house and 11th house became stationary which means things were not moving or something very important you completed yes and then now it when it went retrograde then something which was not completed you completed during these two months you would have definitely observed it so that means now mars has realized that all the things that i wanted to do when i was direct 
I could not do because there was some homework remaining. And now the homework is completed. So now, whichever houses Mars is ruling in your chart, you have finished the homework related to those houses. You can check your own chart. You can write in the comments, okay, that your Mars is ruling this house and this, this, this you wanted to do. And then finally this happened in these two months, last two months. The retrogression period is very important. And now you will again go back to the April 27th phase where Mars had entered Capricorn. And now it is again going to transit direct into uh, from the nakshatra of uttarashara which is all about declaration of victory as we all know yes it's the declaration of victory purvashara is declaration of war and uttarashara is consolidation of the victory and in shravan what happens is after uttarashara it will enter shravan so then it will feel that now the victory is ours and we need to sit down and peacefully do whatever is required Shravan shows the contracts and deals and negotiations which happens after the war is finished, okay? Because there's acute silence. Shravan is the nakshatra of silence. So now what will happen? Till the time Mars will be in Uttarashada, you will feel very confident and you will feel that, yes, I have obtained victory in this regard, whichever house is Mars is ruling in your chart, okay? And then when it enters Shravan, you will feel that now whatever I wanted, I achieved and now you will calm down and then you will see silently what other things do i need to do because shravan gives us that uh, power of silence where we sit and listen to our inner voice you will ask yourself is this what you wanted <laughs> when when mars will enter shravan you will see this you will ask yourself oh i wanted to achieve something and i achieved but is this all what i wanted and then you will move forward and then when it enters dhanishtha you will have kind of a celebration there because dhanishtha is about celebration about celebrating your success which you finally had okay uttarasada does not celebrate the success it will give you the victory and shravan says check everything is if everything is all right and then when it enters dhanishtha you will have the celebration all right now with what will happen that will depend on the dasha and your natal position of mars okay where mars is placed and whichever houses mars is transiting uh, which, which means where capricorn is falling in your chart okay so suppose mars is now transiting in your seventh house which means you are a cancer lagna for example okay then you will see that for fulfilling the agendas of mars because for cancer mars is a yoga karaka things related to relationships is very 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 important mars will try to fulfill its agenda of rulership through the sign capricorn okay so for cancer ascendance whichever houses mars is ruling in your chart you will see that through relate there there was some homework remaining in the area of relationships and now that is over and now you will find that now i can move ahead okay so for Cancer and Leo, it's a very powerful time because your Yoga Karaka is now again going to be direct. So for Cancer, Leo, Aries and Scorpio, this is the best time you can have because now Mars is going to be in your sign of exaltation for two months. So utilize this time properly and do powerful activities. Now you will see whatever tasks you wanted to execute will bear results. Okay depending on the dasha of course that everybody is not going to be a king or everybody is not going to be a, a millionaire or everybody is not going to be married it will ultimately what happens in your life will be dependent on the dasha but transits also have their flavor okay results should be always seen by dashas and transits combined okay so if you are running the dasha of venus then things related to marriage beauty and all these things luxury will be prominent and if it is related to jupiter it can be spirituality or children whatever it is that will depend on the dasha i will not speak about it now and very soon i'll be making uh, videos on dashas and different kinds of dashas because in youtube the most popular dashas are uh, around chara dasha and vimshotri dasha but there are many other dasha systems like narayan dasha and so many other dasha systems are there i'll be making videos on them okay so there you go congratulations to aries and scorpio your lagna lord is getting exalted again and it is going to be direct so fantastic time it is 
and i will also be doing a video with nitin ji today on vimsho pakbal and i'll be uploading it very soon and venus the planet of love romance beauty sexuality is also going to be retrograde in the sign of libra for four months my god <laughs> from 2nd uh yeah 2nd september to 1st first, 1st first january next year it is going to be retrograde yes so september is here almost a week it will going it's going to be direct then stationary then retrograde then stationary then direct so i'll be making a doing a video with vanita lehenga from vl astrology and we will be making the video on all the 12 ascendants okay so stay tuned till that and you can watch that video that video also i will upload and also james braha will be coming to my channel on wednesday so so many people are lined up <laughs> and anuradha ji will also start the series on tithis so she will be doing a video on pratipat tithi we will be recording it maybe tomorrow or day after so so many people are lined up i am amazed i am interested i am delighted <laughs> waiting for all of them okay so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know what mars will do when it is direct in the sign of capricorn okay and if you are wanting to get a reading from me regarding this transit of mars or any other thing then you can go to my website and book a reading you will find the link to my website in the description section of this video below okay and before i end as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay congratulations use this time properly bye bye see you